Hey guys, it's Rachel here, and first and foremost, I just want to comment on the lighting. I'm sorry it's a little bit dark when I am filming this, um, and I promise that in my next videos it will be brighter, but for the time that I have right now, I'm pretty busy this, busy this weekend, the lighting is kind of horrific. Okay, so today I'm going to be filming my January wrap-up. Now this month I ended up reading a total of six books and started and almost completed my seventh. I am super, super proud of that. Um, this is a great way to start off my um, book reading challenge in which I said that I wanted to read 80 books. And so I'm super proud of the work that I did. And if you'd like to see an in-depth review on any of these, please let me know and I'll go ahead and do a more scripted one. And other than that, let's just go ahead and get started. So the very first book that I read this month was Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas and I absolutely loved it. This was a great way to kick off the 2014 reading year. Super action-packed I loved the romance I loved Selena she is super kick-ass and I loved reading about her story um, it was fantastic I love the fantasy fantasy elements I mean I will say that there was a couple of flaws in it here and there but overall this book was fantastic and I completely recommend it to you the next book that I read this month was Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I absolutely loved it. I've been seeing Whitney from Witty Novels raving about it constantly. I had it on my shelves and then um, a fellow booktuber was saying that she didn't have it and so I went ahead and sent it to her. I hope that she has received it by now um, but I went ahead and read it on my Kindle because I really didn't mind plus I want to go ahead and get a different edition of it anyways with the eye on it but I loved shatter me. I will mention that it did have its flaws. I did find the metaphor heavy um, language a little bit frustrating at times but overall the book was so 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 good and I cannot wait to get to unravel me so that I can go ahead and get to ignite me which comes out on the 4th. After finishing shatter me I went ahead and picked up Destroy Me by Tara Moth. This is the novella between Shatter Me and Unravel Me. And in this one, we are re reading it from a different character's point of view. And this character I end up falling in love with. I absolutely love Warner. I love his obsessive tendencies, as creepy as that seems, but I love his obsessive tendencies. I love his story background, I love Warner. I find Adam to be a little bit of a wissy boy, so I'm so sorry for those of you who like Adam. My bad, my bad. But I really am Team Warner, and I cannot wait to get to Unravel Me to see where the story continues. After Destroy Me, I went ahead and picked up If I Stay by, um, by Gail Foreman, and I ended up reading this book with Melissa from Book BFFs. We both enjoyed the book, and we are both so eager to read the second one because it le leaves off on not necessarily a cliffhanger, but I want to know what happens next, especially because I honestly, and we both felt the same way, we honestly don't feel that very much happened in If I Stay. Now don't get me wrong, the book was tragic, and although I'm not a very big contemporary reader, I did enjoy it. There are a couple quotes in here that I did end up liking, um, both, uh, you know, funnily enough, having to do with death, but not a whole lot happened in this book. It's told in a lot and mostly in flashbacks um, between her current situation and what has happened in the past. Um, it was good. I'll, I would recommend it to somebody who likes sad contemporaries. Um, I am really excited to reread where she went whenever I do get my hands on it, but overall I did enjoy this book. So after if I Stay, I went ahead and picked up The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima and I read this book with Suna from Kiwi Lover 25 and I absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. It was so good. I will admit the beginning for me was a little bit slow. It took me a little bit to get invested to the characters. There's a lot of going a lot of going on in the story. There are several characters and there are two different storylines, two different perspectives. I will say that I did enjoy Hans Alistair's um, storyline more than I liked Reza's, but their meeting is so, oh my god, climactic, and it was so good, and I really, really enjoyed the re the ending of the book, and I cannot wait to get to the next four, three books in the series. I actually own them all, and thank you so much, Suna, for reading this with me, and I hope to read more books with you in the future. You too, Melissa. I, Melissa and I actually already in the works of picking our next book to read together so if you would like to know more information on that please comment down below and uh, maybe we can all pick a book to read together. The next book that I read this month and uh, Crown of Midnight 
by Sarah J Maas, the sequel to Throne of Glass. This, if the next book that I mentioned wouldn't have been my favorite book of the month, this would have been. This was phenomenal. I absolutely loved Crown of Midnight. It was so good. It was, in my opinion, much darker than Throne of Glass. You learn more about Selena's um, background, her storyline, and it is much darker and much more heartbreaking. And an event happens in this book that just left me breathless and so upset, and I didn't, I didn't know how to go on. It was so heartbreaking, but this book was so good. And if you have not picked up Throne of Glass, I'm telling you, hurry up and do so so that you can get to Crown of Midnight because this book was leagues, leagues better than um, Throne of Glass. It was so good, and I'm so ready for Air of Fire. And finally, the book that I picked up um, right after I read Crown of Midnight was The Unbound by Victoria Schwab, the sequel to The Archived. Everybody knows I loved The Archived. It was so good. It was my favorite book of 2013. Uh, it was so fantastic. The storyline was so great. I loved Mackenzie. I loved Wesley. I loved Daw. I loved Roland. I love everybody in the story. And so this book came out on January 28th and I had it pre-ordered and it came in the mail and I got it that day and oh, 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 oh. I have already started reading it. As of right now, I am 238 pages in and it is fantastic. And I am at the point now where I'm kind of slowing it down on reading it because I don't, I'm horrified for when I run out of pages because this is so, so, so good. I cannot recommend Victoria Schwab enough. Her writing style is phenomenal. So beautiful, so fluid, so uh, poetic. There are so many lines and quotes in these books that are fantastic and I love it, love it, love it. I have not forgotten about uh, Vicious. I will be reading Vicious either next month probably next month because it is on such high recommendation from Jesse and Reagan. But I'm telling you, pick up the archive so you can pick up the Outbound. They are fantastic and they absolutely deserve all the praise that they have been getting. So yeah, those are the sixth plus seventh book that I read for the month of January. I don't know yet if I'm going to be doing a February to be read specifically because I don't necessarily like to plan out the books that I'm going to read. I mean, there is one book that I know that I'm going to read. The Arithmetist and I'm going to be reading that with Kiera from Freckle Fantasy. I'll link it down below but I'll be reading that book with her that this month. But other than that we I don't like to really plan things out but like I said if you'd like a re in depth review on any of these books please let me know and thank you so much for commenting liking and subscribing and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. The other day I went to the store with my boyfriend and I ended up picking up some of these little tablet thingies. I love putting these into my books whenever I read them and I'm enjoying them and I want to get back to it at some point. And if you don't do this and you um, don't want to write in your books, I